Hi there, so today we are going to learn about how to create image using python and how to insert text to that image. Uh, for doing so, we are going to use PIL library from python. If you haven't installed that library yet, please refer my first video. So let's start with the coding part. So just import from PIL. Import image. Then to create one new image, let's say variable and call the img image dot new this rgba comma give the size of the image uh, width and the height let's say 900 by 900 then the background color let's say white uh, just to display that image image dot show method okay just save it and run this code this would create 900 by 900 image for you. Just close that image. Now uh, let's add some text to this image. So let's say str1 variable equals to hello there. Now create some font so that it can hold. So import image font over here. Image font and then image draw for further using image font equals to image font dot to type in method uh, uh, by default we are using arial dot ttf you can use any font just give the location of the ttf file and then give the size of let's say 75 uh, then once you have created the font now get the width and the height of the font with the your string so font dot get size and parameter provide your string that is str1 now you have created the font now just draw this font on your image so to do so let's say variable name is draw equals to image draw dot draw In bracket provide the image instance that is img in our case and then just draw dot text in bracket provide the starting point of the image so if you want to center the text in the image there's some things what you need to learn uh, then that is 900 is width of our image minus width of our text that is w and then it will this 900 minus w will give you the difference between the two width then you can divide it by two to get the center point of the width similarly for the height 900 minus h divided by two this will give you the center point to your text okay uh, just uh, be careful about the brackets because the brackets will lead you to the errors so just be careful about that okay now comma uh, you provide your string that is str1 in our case comma provide some font font same variable and then fill the color which would you wanna see your text too. so the background was white so let's say black okay hopefully i haven't done mistakes with the bracket here yeah. save it and then run it yeah i told you that i have done some mistake with the brackets Yeah, I'm done. So here uh, you are having an image with the font. How to save this image and uh, how to open the existing images. We will learn it into a, uh, another video. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully it was worth watching. Thank you so much guys.